Welcome back for more Trigger King RC Fast Pace RC Monster Truck Action 2023 event number five. We take a look at qualifying results in our sport mod bracket number one, Buffalo Trimmer, then Destination Bigfoot Bob C. Chandler, and Fast Qualifier Chris Hackinson in Fallout. This was actually Fast Qualifier by Tiebreaker. So amazingly, the top two trucks ran the same time, but Fallout had the better second time in our two run qualifying session. So he gets number one qualifying rights and the point we move to round number one kicking it off it's aaron james in chain reaction and andy salerno in grave digger chain reaction starts off the bracket with a win <laughs> out now it's the orange thunder driven by chris blank and pizza planet Driven by Matthew Davis, a newcomer to the series from the Cincinnati area. But it's not going to be his day today. Orange Thunder, Chris Blank, takes the round one victory. Number nine qualifier, Josh Rhodes in Bigfoot 8. And number 24 qualifier, Awesome Kong, Troy Haas. <laughs> Bigfoot 8 looking dominant on that run. That truck is looking smooth on this track. On the line now, number 13, Jester, and number 20, Barefoot Racer, Chris Parrish. Two different approaches to the first corner, but they're tight coming to the final straightaway. And Barefoot, by about the length of a truck, takes the victory. Parrish right back up on the line, and as the number 12 qualifier in Equalizer faces off with Skull Bandit, Andy Salerno. Salerno in trouble, and Equalizer rolls to victory. Taurus on the line facing off against Mad Scientist. Taurus third in points, so he's looking to maintain his position or improve it. Oh, but both trucks with trouble. Taurus misses the ramp altogether and Mad Scientist takes that victory. Driver's ready. Xbox Bigfoot facing off against Mortician. Claude Buster versus SMT10. Xbox sitting fourth in points, and he does what he needs to do, taking the round one victory. Aaron James, Roadhog, back up on the line. The 10th qualifier and Mike Bufka and his custom Monster Patrol. Roadhog in trouble in the far lane, missing a ramp, but Monster Patrol in more trouble in the final corner, hung up on a jersey barrier. Roadhog, despite the penalty, takes the win. Black Pearl, Josh Rhodes, and Pony Express, Isaac Ankrum. Rhodes driving a TLR tuned LMT, the first in the class at Trigger King and he takes the victory. Our final pair in round number one brings Orange Fury, Chris Blank, and Bigfoot 10, John Arnold to the line. We haven't seen Arnold much this season at Trigger King, and he's in trouble in the far lane as the Claude Buster Orange Fury from the Orange Grove owned by Chris Blank takes the win and moves on. Round number two, Fallout. Chris Round Hackinson, the yep. number one qualifier Lines. against Chain Reaction, the number 16, Iron Aaron Janes. Fallout takes the victory and moves on looking strong. 
Number eight, Orange Thunder, and number nine, Bigfoot Eight. Driver's ready. Watch the line. On the line now, the number four, Brodozer, Isaac Ankrum, and the number 20 qualifier, Barefoot Racer, who was sitting second in points prior to this event. Wow, that was tight. Nip and tuck the whole way. Brodozer a little ahead coming out of the corner, but Barefoot Racer with a run takes the win barely. Equalizer and Bigfoot 18. Watch the light. Arnold driving one of the ACRC team trucks owned by Bob C. Chandler. And with trouble from Equalizer, Bigfoot 18 moves on. Our number two qualifier and points leader in the class, Bigfoot Destination, facing off against the 18th qualifier, Mad Scientist. Chandler smooth through both corners and the ACRC Claude Buster moves on. Chandler right back up on the line with Xbox Bigfoot, which sits fourth in points against Roadhog. Regardless of what truck it is, he's in trouble at this point. Chandler looking strong. Roadhog running to catch up, but not quite getting there. Next up, Buffalo Trimmer, the third Driver's place ready. qualifier, Jeremy Mark, and number 14, Black Pearl. Pearl with a little bit of a jump, smooth through the first corner, but he's in trouble. Not as much trouble as it might have seemed at first, but Trimmer catches him on the final straightaway to take the victory. El Toro Loco, we call it Pinkalicious in the far lane. Chris Hackinson facing off against Orange Fury. Chris Blank, you'll notice there's a lot of Chris's on the Trigger King Tour, but the Chris that's victorious this time is Chris Hackinson in Pinkalicious. Hackinson right back up on the line as we move to round number three as Fast Qualifier Fallout faces Bigfoot 8, the number nine. Both trucks have looked strong. Different approaches to the first corner. Oh, fallout nips a jersey barrier. Wheelies loses momentum and Bigfoot 8 drives around him. Barefoot racer facing off against Bigfoot 18. Looks like the starting line in the near lane starting to go away and Parrish is in trouble with Barefoot Racer as he hits it. Jersey Barrier entering the second corner and gives the win to Bigfoot 18. Driver's ready? Watch the light. Buffalo Tremor and El Toro Loco. Tremor off to a lead. Loco closed the gap with a tight and lucky second corner, but Buffalo Trimmer holds him on the hip and takes the win, moving into the semifinal. Last pair in round number three, you saw Bigfoot Destination defeat Bigfoot Xbox as Bob C. Chandler's trucks faced off. Right now, it's Bigfoot 8 and Bigfoot 18. 18 off to a lead, but gives it away by penalty on the final ramp, missing the obstacle. Bigfoot 8, Josh Rhodes moves to the finals. Our second pair in the semifinals, Bigfoot Destination and Buffalo Tremor. A good race, but the points leader, Bigfoot Destination, takes him down and moves to the finals. He's gaining more space between first and second, no matter what happens here with Bigfoot Destination. But it's Bigfoot Destination facing off against Bigfoot 8. Driver's ready. Watch the light. 
You see that starting line going away for Rhodes in the near lane, but Chandler with problems in the far lane. That was a whole lot of awkward. We're waiting to see what happens here. I think we see it right there. Chandler in the far lane missing that center obstacle with the front two tires. I think that's going to give the victory by penalty to Bigfoot 8, Josh Rhodes. It's still tight at the top. Barefoot moves down a spot. Taurus moves up a spot and Bigfoot sticks to the top of the standings as we move through event number five. Three brackets to go in the season remaining. It's getting dramatic. It's going to be a knockdown drag out the whole way. Thanks for joining us.